Hello, everybody. Welcome. Grab your coffee cup. I'm getting ready to do a daily message, and Saturn has gone retrograde. Get your cup. Be right back. All right. Welcome back, you guys. Getting ready to do a daily message. Let me check the... Uh... Ah, there we got it. Checking the flashlight just to see if it was on. I did have it adjusted earlier. Um, Spirit, if you're in the room, can I get you to take control of that light, please? <clears throat> can I get a wink, a blink, a flicker, or turn it clear off? Let me know that you have control of that light. All right, they're falling slow. All right, let me go ahead and see if I can adjust. Ah, all right, don't need to adjust it. Very good, thank you. Um, I'm feeling the energy of that Saturn retrograde already. Um, I know some of you are. It, happened, it started yesterday. Today is Monday, the 24th of May. Um, however, this reading is timeless for whenever you may find it. I do play the, uh, the flippers. They the floaters, the jumpers. Um, yeah, Saturday, uh, Saturn went retrograde yesterday. It is ramping up this energy that we're going to be feeling. Um, Wednesday is a full moon. It is a full moon lunar eclipse. It is a full moon lunar eclipse. It is a super full moon lunar eclipse. It is a blood moon. Um, actually called a flower moon this time of the year. Blood moon is because of the fact it's a super moon. When it shines that reflection on there uh, uh, from the sun to the moon, it looks red. And that's the only reason. <clears throat> All right, let's see what's happening. Um, yeah, and then in a couple days, I believe the 28th, or the 29th, I gotta peek again. Gee, I can't remember. Um, Mercury goes retrograde on top of all of this energy. This is huge, huge energy going on right now. <clears throat> all right, let's see what's happening for this daily message. <laughs> you know, right out of the chute, we have the Five of Swords. Five's all about change. And let me tell you, with all this um, planetary alignments that are happening right now, the retrogrades, the eclipse, um, there is a powerful, powerful time for change to take place. <clears throat> we also have the Hierophant. And take a look over his head. He's actually a number five card, too. Um, this is somebody that normally sits in a position of, um, you know, they can be a teacher. They can be, um, a clergyman, somebody that other people go to for guidance and counseling. This is going to be a very good time to seek guidance and counseling. Um, energetically, it is going to be really tough on some of us. Now, if it is tough um, on you, it's not everybody, okay? It doesn't hit everybody. Uh, all of the retrogrades don't hit everybody as hard. How about the people that don't even know about them? Isn't that funny how things don't hit them? Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, but the energy of those retrogrades... Oops, Spirit interrupted me. Where was I going with that? It may, it may flap you a little bit. Um, you might need to talk to somebody. Whether it's a friend, a counselor, um, somebody that you can vent to, it, it, it's going to happen. Maybe whether you want it or not, you might be the person people come to. Uh, we have the Nine of Cups coming up here. This is an ideal time to put those wishes, dreams, and manifestations out there. Now... Um, this is the wish fulfillment card. We haven't quite hit that 10 of cups, but you're a little reluctant to move forward. I feel like you're holding back. <clears throat> There's that change that it keeps calling on. Um, those two five cards 
and yet sitting there with your arms crossed. So I'm not sure I'm going to go. <laughs> if I go, it's going to be kicking and screaming. Um, and here's the reason you can, you're not sure what, what which way to go. You have the two of swords comes up. And that's all about making a decision, um, something you've been postponing and putting off. You haven't wanted to do this. Whatever this situation is that you're trying to um, change, whatever you're trying to get around, uh, this is not a good time to, to do it. If I were you, I would just kind of ride out this uh, full moon energy uh, for a little bit before you make that move. However, this reading is about that stuff coming to light. Uh, this is about those energies intensifying everything that's going to happen. We have the King of Cups that comes up, and he came up in reverse, um, making me feel like this was a real missed opportunity here for somebody. We also have another the King of Wands, and he came up in reverse too. Um, a lot of King energy that's upside down. It was... It's as though you put your a lot of dreams and expectations in another person and it didn't happen. They didn't turn out to be who we thought they were. Retrograde came along through a shadow on everything, didn't it? Then a full moon comes along and it shines a light on all of those things that you thought you saw you did not see. The full moon is going to bring that to light. <clears throat> We have the Six of Pentacles came up too, and that is all about uh, give and take, and it's in reverse. So it's been the other way around. There has been a lot of giving on one side and a lot of taking on the other. It's out of balance right now, and it, it's going to be there. It's going to be a little upside down. Um, if you're waiting for somebody to be re uh, to reciprocate on something, uh, a gift, some money, whether it is time, if you're waiting for somebody to be reciprocal in love, mm -mm, ain't happening. We got the three of swords. Came up in reverse. This is a heartache you're already dealing with. Now this could even be a family member. It, it's still a heartache you're dealing with. It, it, it's seeing somebody in a real light and you know you just can't allow that to stay in your life um this person has had a toxic connection to you for a while and they've always left you with a broken heart busted feelings we have the star card that also came up <clears throat> and this came up also in reverse and that's just about the delayed healing it's going to be held back a little bit a lot of shit happening, um, but you're going to heal. You're going to get past this. Trust me. This too shall pass. All right. I am going to switch to another deck. Get some validation. Um, Spirit Light's not working very good back there today. I don't know if it is the planet alignments that make it a little more difficult for them on some days. Uh, with this retrograde, actually anything that has takes place during a retrograde usually needs redone, <clears throat> whether it is Mercury retrograde or Saturn retrograde, which we are in now. Um, we are in the shadow phase of Mercury retrograde. <laughs> so, all right. I don't know why I was told to pull that one out. All right. Yep. Yep. Here it is. I saw this, I saw this, I felt it. Whew. Yay. Liking the way that this fell I like the way this falling apart, okay? Um we got the Emperor energy that comes up. Came up in reverse. Again, it's something we had not seen in somebody. Finally, you know what? That person got flipped over a little bit. Their energy got out of whack. They threw a temper tantrum. They did something that made you see them for who they really were. 
Mm, I don't want to hitch my wagon to this star at all. Bam. Know where you wanted to go. You got the devil card also came up. And then it's just validating that there was toxic energy, toxic connection in this situation. It's not worth losing sleep about. It. It's time to let it go. Uh, it's good that the devil came out, that you can see this for what it really is. Sometimes we have to have it right straight in our face before we really see what's going on. That is why the full moon lunar eclipse is going to enlighten a lot of us. We're going to see things that we hadn't seen or hadn't expected even. Because of the double retrograde energy that we're under. We have the six of cups that came up. Um... Could be a family connection. But it's going to be all right. You know, the six is about giving it another try again, too. Okay? It's a little bit about, a little bit of a victory at the halfway through the, through the whole situation here. There's going to be opportunity come out of this for those that rise above it and know how to shine. You know, the world can fall apart. Not on my watch. <clears throat> Got the Ten of Cups, man. That's a happily ever after. There's that rainbow card. Um, it'll pass. This too shall pass. I mean, it feels this energy is going to be heavy for a few, a couple weeks. It's going to be kind of heavy. Uh, it will be culminating um, on that full moon right straight through the Mercury retrograde in that last uh, two and a half weeks, I believe, two weeks. I'll have to check the dates on that. Um, but this too shall pass. All right, you guys, there you have it. That is your daily message. Um, if it resonated, hit that like button, would you please? All right. Never leave you guys. I don't bless you with love and light. See you soon.